Hello guys, my name is JP. Welcome to Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. That is the game of the week, in case you're wondering. Let's uh, get this guy out here somewhere. It's been a long time since I've... well, it's not been that long since I played it the other day, but... You know what I mean. It's been a long time since I've played Age of Empires 2, much less... Just anything like that. I mean, I have not... I completely forgot this game existed for the longest time. And now suddenly, out of nowhere, they released the AG edition. I was like, oh, okay, I'll play it again. Well, uh, let's... what do we need first? We already have a barracks and stuff, I believe. Because I always play with a little fortress. The fortress scenario thing. Uh, let's go ahead and build a mill. That's usually useful. Let's get these guys on it. There's one, two, three... Let's we'll build another one. This guy needs to go over and look around. And this is one of the few occasions where I can't give you all kinds of background information on the game, because I honestly don't know much about this game. I've never really thought about it. I mean, it's it's always just been one of those games where it's like, oh, okay, it exists. Isn't there f five of them? Ooh, somebody's not doing something. Oh, there she is. Standing next to the building. You need to be farming. And this guy needs to go find somebody. Or well, actually, I'd rather locate immediate nearby resources so I can properly secure them. This guy needs to be on defense. I have the advanced commands turned on, which is why I have all these extra things. Normally only I have, like, attack and disband. Or kill your unit, is what it is in here. So slow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make Let's have them over there. Make some more of those guys. They'll have to be on probably gold or stone. So I'm gonna go through a lot of that pretty quick. Well, I'm gonna go through a lot of wood really quick, too, so... I honestly need a team of... I need a team of... uh... workers on, like, everything. On every individual resource. I have a habit of spending before checking how much I have. So I'll, I'll need to do that pretty quick. Just waiting on the workers. <clears throat> Let's see, come on now. Okay, there's more stone right outside. That's good. More gold right outside, too. That's great. Actually, I'll probably do a mining camp. That's... Uh, I don't know. I want to say I should take from the outside first, but I should probably take from the inside first. No, there's a lot of gold out here. I need to do it from out here first, I guess. It'll be easier to have them... Any off chance I get locked into my fort, like if they're really bad and I can barely defend myself, uh, at the very least, I'll have my resources from inside still. This is a little thing uh, a monk can pick up. It generates gold if I have it. 
in case you were wondering. I honestly can't imagine how many people would would be wondering about things in this game. It's such an old game. I can build a mining camp here. That's usually how I do this. I'll just uh, build a lot of random... I build them where I need them and then move on. Like, I have one here. I'm not going to have them go back and forth. That takes too damn long. I'll, I'll have them build another one over here when I get over here. We can already go to the Feudal Age. Which I see no reason not to do. Some of the upgrades will be nice. It'll unlock uh, upgrades for the for the villagers first, mostly. Because I have a, a 50 population limit on this on this game, so I don't have to worry too much about being completely swamped by military. Like, unless they have no workers at all and have only military. Which is usually what I'll do. That they will reseed these when it comes down to it. Well, I'm hoping I get the Feudal Age first so I can have... Uh, hopefully the farm upgrades before they reseed them. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have it. That's fine. This guy is... there. I swear there used to be one where I could just... where he would just explore, but... They don't do that anymore. Yeah. Maybe that was Age of Empires 3, I don't remember. Alright, they can do wheelbarrow. These guys can do horse collar. See it makes the makes the farms produce more food, which is what I was hoping I would get before they started uh, moving on. Well, the problem with my overlay my frames per second overlay is right over where the thing is, so I can't see how much wood I have. So these next guys need to be on chopping wood, no matter what. Like, this new farm is going to produce... ...a lot. So that's going to mess up my whole thing. Let's go to Sorna told this guy to make more workers. Right, they're working on food, these guys are working on gold. Stone we haven't used any yet, so... We have a little while longer for that. And I'll make a... I don't know where I want to do the wood camp. I don't want to. I don't want to have them chop trees from in here. Maybe these. I can just build the wall back in when it comes down to it. Or even these, because to clear out the space mostly. Trees all up in the way, as always. I really don't like trees. They're good for shade, but. They're always in the way. I'm not gonna bother with military yet. They they don't know where I am and I don't know where they are, so there's no point. Uh, I don't need the stone mining yet. I'll wait until I actually need it. Well, I think I can go ahead and make four guys. Alright, let's go here, I suppose. 
Yeah, let's do it here, I guess. So let's say. Oh, that's weird. Where is diplomacy? It's here somewhere. Was it this guy? Yeah, okay. That's odd. I've never had the computers do that with me before. Normally, they just attack and that's it. These guys were smart about it. Oh yeah, I'm out of wood completely. Luckily these guys are on the case. They'll have me more wood in no time. Come on, I said no time. Give me more wood. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I didn't know I had so such little wood. Cause like I said, I can't see it because of the the frames per second overlay. It's a little annoying. I think at, I think I'm at zero now. Uh, where let's, where'd these guys go? Didn't I make guys? Oh, I started. I did the upgrades first. Hundred food and forty gold. We can afford that for now. If I'm gonna have guys, I want them to be at least be upgraded. The the standard ones will not hold up in battle very well. So let's just wait on that. That's really the only thing I can do. I can wood. I can't really do anything. What was that? Oh, okay. Now we can make the guys. Let's see. How much are these guys going to cost? 60 food, 20 gold. Yeah, I can do that. Just four of them. Because we already have one military unit. I try to keep things in fives. I don't know why. It's an easy way to keep track of stuff, I guess. Also, I believe we can go ahead and do this. It'll increase the, the sight range of all our buildings so we can actually see some damn things. Yeah, so now we can see a little bit more than we could before. Not much, because I don't think it counts for the walls. And then... Five more of those guys. And that should be maxed out for, for population until I build more buildings. These guys need to be on defensive, otherwise they will just wander off. Stagger them, bring them out here. These guys will be mining stone, so I'll bring them out here. Build another mining camp. Well, I'll probably put the mining camp like right in here so I can use it for both when these guys get there. It'll be a while though. These guys have a lot of gold to mine. Actually, let's, uh, let's group them into group one, so I can just press one, and it will automatically select them. So if I need them in a hurry, I can get to them. Also, if I double tap it, it automatically takes me to where they are. Where 
Alright guys, let's take these over here. Alright, and then right here, just a lot of resource building. That's really all I need to do for now. We're doing pretty good, though. Haven't had any problems. We're, we're gaining resources faster than we're using them at this point. Put and make a. Put it right here. It's good. Although I need to control them here for a second because I don't know if they're going to automatically try to go for the gold or the stone. I need them to go for the stone. Yep, they try to go for the gold. Stone mining. I do, however, need one person to build something for me. I need a blacksmith. Stick this back in here. A little farm guy, that's not normal. I don't want a dead farm because it'll eventually it'll just uh, disappear. Also, before you say anything, I realize that there's I could forage for those for those berries, but no, I like just using the farms, it's easier. Go ahead and upgrade the our infantry guys some more. Something was here. Who died? What happened? I didn't even know we were under attack at some point. What the hell happened here? It must have been the scout for that other team. The one that I'm not neutral to. I didn't see anything though, so... Like, normally it pops up if I'm under attack, but nothing popped up. And also give them the scale mail armor. We're doing all right. Wow, they already cleared out a whole source of stone. These guys are crazy fast. We have scale mail. What else do we need to be able to uh, upgrade? Archery range, probably. Uh, you, come with me. We'll build it right here, seems appropriate. I like having the, the the military buildings on the front line like that if something if something bad were to happen, like if they were to start trying to come up my walls, I could pump up the units without having to worry about deploying them because they're automatically set to aggressive and they would seek out the nearest within visual range enemy. So if I were to start making these guys, they would waypoint over to here and be like Oh, there's guys, and then they would spread out and attack. Yeah. Alright, you can go back to doing that. And I believe I can upgrade now. 800 food, 200 gold. I have plenty. Plenty of gold, anyways. Not so much on food. But it's fine. Uh, food is pretty much infinite as long as they have these farms. Like I said, I can't even 
forge these bushes if I really ever needed to. So we're waiting on the, the next age, the castle age. This needs to go a lot faster. I mean, I can, I have, I know the cheats to uh, do certain things. Like, what is this? Uh, food, watch. Enter. Cheese. Steak. Jimmy's. Plus one thousand. There's codes like that for all of them. In fact, I don't know if I can do it because I don't have. Uh, I don't have room, but there's there's a super unit I can add. But I might I might do it just to show you, and then and then delete the unit. Still waiting on that castle age. Is all I can't do anything until the castle age is ready. Come on, give me the give me the castle age. The castle age. There it is. Alright, now I can start upgrading things again. Uh, this is always first. It upgrades the, the carrying capacity and speed of the of the workers. Stone shaft mining. The other one will do gold shaft mining despite the fact that it's backwards. Doesn't make any difference. I have all technologies unlocked, so every civilization has all of these technologies. Just to make it a little bit more fair, not just for me, but for the computers. Also, it makes the game a little bit more interesting for, uh, for video if we're on an even match. Just slightly. Not much, but just enough to make it interesting. Alright, so everything should start picking up speed now. Well, the villagers work faster. They carry more. These guys work even faster, faster because of the little perk they have with the with the mining. In fact, they've already almost. What? I thought this guy said he was neutral. Why are you attacking my shit? I'll put him back on neutral. He does that shit again. I'm just gonna go to war. I do have the more advanced units. I can guarantee you. They may have more of them, but I have better units. Guaranteed. King Sancho? Okay. He's just looking around. Are you shitting me with this? Get this guy. Attack my buildings and say you're neutral. Asshole.
Yeah, these guys are all mining super crazy fast now. have them fix that thing up, dump what they have, and they can go mine this gold now. The stone's about to run out too. And I think I want these guys to forage those bushes. I wasn't gonna show you. Oh yeah, the the uh, the thing. I don't know if it'll let me do it. How do you turn this on? Oh yeah, there it is. We have a car. In fact, let's go have a look around. I'm not. I'm gonna keep it. Screw you guys. I'm cheating. You know how I do. I am an opportunist. You give me the chance to cheat, and I will cheat. At least in video games. You can use it to scout at least. It's so freaking fast. It'll rip apart a building too. You don't even believe it. You can go fuck yourself, guy. It's funny, it opens its doors and shoots. It's kind of weird. This guy messed with the wrong person. I've got cars, fool. Oh, I said cars, so I guess I should make more. It's interesting that it doesn't... It ignores my population limit for that. I thought it would, uh... I thought it would still require me to have the population to support it, but it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, that was really fast. I got over there. To... Unfortunately, this the sound is really annoying. I guess that's the downside of cheating. Let's look away. <laughs> That's... Uh... Hurry up and destroy the damn gate. No, he started it. You saw what he did. This, this asshole... Decided to attack my buildings. And they have the nerve to tell me to set him to neutral. No, oh, you started it. You're gonna die. And of course, the best part is that these uh, these cars they count as siege units, so they have they do quite a bit of damage to buildings very quickly. Shoot the farms! Get rid of that tower now before it starts things. Dumbass. Hey, no, you started it. Unfortunately, these guys suck at moving, at moving targets.
He gave up. Figures. I warned him. Still shooting the farms. Let's just go. Nobody got time for this nonsense. Just have a look around and then we'll head out. Let's go find the next one. Destroy him by cheating too. Yeah, if if you're wondering, this was, you, this was not supposed to be a serious let's play of Age of Empires 2, obviously. For my game of the week, it's literally just however I want to play it. And this is the game of the week. In fact, from now on, let me know, let me know what you would like to see for the game of the week, and I will... it will be heavily considered. Because right now, it's just kind of whatever I feel like playing. Like, uh, unless somebody says otherwise, next week will most likely be, like, Ghostbusters or something. Oh, wiped out their army. What is that in a market? And destroy it. I wonder if we can get to the wall any faster. Not really. Might as well go through a gate. I'll come back to that. We've already almost wiped them out anyways. We're still... Living like nothing's wrong. Everybody's just fine over here. Let's do town patrol. Dumbass. We'll be through there in a couple, in a minute or two. Now you've seen what's up with this game. Like I said, it'll be over really quick once I get these cars in there. It'll, it'll be over when I destroy their military buildings. That's usually when they just give up. I still think it was really odd that a, a computer wanted to ally with me. But then bullshitted about it. And attacked me anyways. That's never happened before. Neither the uh, computer trying to ally with me, nor the them bullshitting about it and obviously lying. Let's take out their thing, I guess. I think that'll end it. Yep, that'll do it. Like I said, not a serious let's play. Just uh, me kind of derping around with a game I like to play sometime. Sometimes. So anyways, that'll do it for today. If you want to see any of this.
that will do it for today. Thank you for watching. My name is JP, and I will see you next week with more of the Game of the Week.